Yeah, good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome back to another evening on Live Wire. You know what it is? This is Let's Talk with J Star. And you know, it's me, your boy DP. The girls I'm going to be every woman got the woman, them want me. Stop lying. Get all pitney, them want me like oh, crazy, brother. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because the only thing we love is women. You see what I'm saying? I can't, I can't, I can't. You know, I'm cool with men, but I love women. You know, that's the only thing you said on this podcast on Let's Talk that I agree with. Yeah, you don't agree with that, dude, but that's all right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have um, another guest in the studio, and we're about to interview him. Um, last night, um, J Star kind of played one of um, his songs, A Counteraction, which I personally love <laughs> because he, he represents for man of our statues. So tonight, I want to bring in right now EJ. EJ, the shot boss. Definitely. On, on, all right. On you. So EJ, place of birth? Diana, Georgetown. Georgetown, school? <laughs> Different places. Yeah. I've been to school a few places. I went to school in Antigua, school in Montserrat, school in Guyana also. Right. Yeah. Early life, um, how was things back in Guyana, growing up in Guyana, early years? For me, pretty decent, yeah. For me, pretty decent, you know. Um, I started off with music from a very tender age, so, mm-hmm. yeah. It's not something new for me, you know. I've been living in music for a while, you know. How did you actually get into music? What? When did you realize that music was something you wanted to do? It's a family thing. It's a family thing. Yeah, so you have thing. you have other members of your family yeah, who are into I got music. My father, he, he does music. My uncle, most of my father family, you know, they into music. You know, right. they play instruments. Uh, a whole lot of these. Do things. they have like? Do they have uh, music out there? Who, who are they? Yeah, they get band. I get my father. Um, he has a one-man band called Arrow One Man Band. Um, uncle, and they got uh, another band too called Saxy and the Brothers Band. You know. Okay. So, what kind of instrument your dad play? He he plays drum uh, sometimes the keyboard. You know. Yeah, but they do a lot of covers. Right. Do you play an instrument? Uh, I used to try with the keyboard, but I guess you know the patience for it is you not really there no more since you know. You I play the vocals. For, Listen, man, I can play. I can play them keys. You know. Yeah. You keep saying that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you keep saying you can play the keys. I <laughs> just try with it. I just try with it. But then you realize your vocal talents were more where you wanted to be. Yeah, I wanted to like focus more on singing. You know. Right. I mean. It's, it's not a problem to try, but I don't think I'm at that stage yet where I want to like explore with those other things until I master what I'm actually doing right now, you know? And and then when, when, when did you actually start to put music together, put lyrics together to start making this journey? Well, um, I've been, like I said, I've been doing it for a while, but... Thanks to my friend there, Wild Child. Big up yourself, you know. Shout out to Wild Child. <laughs> big up Wild Child. He was Wild Child was in the studios last night. Um, of course, you can always go back on the podcast and watch the interview with Wild Child. Very good artist. Yeah, man. He was like, "Yo, let's link up and do a song," you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was the one that actually like motivated me. He was like, "Yo, let's go do the song." Mm-hmm. Even we did uh, we did two songs like like two years back, and after that two song I was you know I stepped back a bit, mm-hmm. and then he came up again like yo what's up what happened you know, mm-hmm. and after that we did one song and it was real tough militant youth. Um, after that song we just keep going at it going at it going at it and I'm here right now. You know? So it's this, this energy from you, mm-hmm. and I'm not just saying that I get this energy from you like with the music, it, it kind of seemed. Um, like you, you, you it kind of seemed like you have like a more inner spiritual feeling for the music. Definitely. It feel like you sit down and you really think your your, your music through or your, your art, or whatever, Definitely. you know. But are you the type of person that write for 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 a pretty long time and then when you feel like it's solid, then you want to put it out, or are you just? Um, yeah, sometimes. Uh, like uh, there's projects that. I probably would take like two weeks to write yeah. while their song I would spend probably like a 10 minutes on writing my child could tell you that it's like uh, one time we had like a few hours to finish okay all right. it's all right you know what I'm saying we need to give you some so some people are trying going like in tall you know what I'm saying so we don't so we are yeah, yeah, people say, really offended you know what I'm saying? Yo, some the truth hurts like, nah bro they know truth there bro yeah, the yeah. truth make a man sing a next a reply like, song yo. this one the kind of <laughs> <laughs> the man reply song, but <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, so basically, I'm gonna play the song, right? All right. And you're just gonna tell me what you feel or what you think, just random. Mm. All right. So here we go. Yo, Fraser, couple glocks if I strap money, not the duffel bag, but the chin, not the trap. For my boy, play with me money, send this if he go clap him up. Rounds not the plus, yo, yo. Money team, money dream, we no play money, so we never in the money scheme. Rich, on the money trail, trade all on the money, plus me clocks, them ever clean. Never shot. Money team, money dream, we no play money, so we never in the money scheme. Rich, on the money trail, trade all on the money, plus me clocks, them ever clean. Ever with me, Matic by my side, if you feel bad, pussy, if you chat up now. One link with my friend, they may pass on you, tell you love, you get clap up to. We no run joke, we no Take trip, bees I was him and terror get the tech set. 69 X so me fix him, you know 50, so the docs couldn't fix him. Money say money dream, we no play money, so we never in the money scheme. <laughs> I got when you finish, I got I got something to say. I gotta yeah. ask you a question. What is that? No, go ahead. You what go it, ahead. what inspired this song? Oh. This was actually one of the, the first set of projects that I did. So um it's it's a it's a song uh, that I actually reached out to the producer to like yo, I mean I had liked the rhythm the minute I heard it, so I was like yo, let me get on on this rhythm because I was talking to War Child to ask him to like you know contact the producer like yo tell him yo I like this rhythm yo and he was like man you should reach out to him you know I reached out he linked me the rhythm um like I said. Uh, I actually build songs with moves. Sometimes it's not something that I'm thinking about, but it's a mood that I'm in, you know? So, I don't know, that day, and most of the time, I'm, I'm just chilling at home. So, it was just that mood I was in, you know? And I got the chorus going, and the, the verses, the first one, a little aggressive. I was feeling like, you know, you know, there's bad mom vibes, yeah, you know, because, and it's like, like I said, most of the thing I do is because of the team, you know, it's like, these guys, they, they got, they motivate you. Yeah. They got good, good songs. Yeah. Aggressive songs. I used to do strictly girl songs, mm. but sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you right. gotta mess around yeah. with different things. So I was like, okay. Let me try something aggressive, you know, and that's where that came in. Like, all right, me me singing. I mean, I've been in the army, so I know about guns and what's not. Yeah. But me knowing myself doing a lot of girl song and singing about my tick now was like, okay, yeah, I can mess with you this, you know. Yeah. So, so my question is, mm -hmm. I heard in, in it's, it's a lyric there that really, that really a bar in there that really sticked out to me. Mm -hmm. You said. He in 50, so the doctor can't fix him. Yeah, I said, um, um, uh, what? Something like that? Yeah. Yeah. I need to play that back, bro. Wait, hold up. Run it back, bro. No, back. I got, I got <laughs> Dave, did you hear that? I didn't catch that. You didn't catch that? No, no, let me. You the... see, you're not listening to these music, man. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> that... These people not listening to these music because I really sit down and listen to the music, listen to the words. You know what I mean? Understand the bars, understand where he's going with it, where he came from, XYZ. So he says Before, he is in 50. He said, No, the basically, yeah, the, he's saying that the guy, mm -hmm. what I got was, I'm gonna play back. Let me play wait, back. Wait, mm -hmm. let me say first, mm -hmm. I was saying that I used the 16 and I said 9x, so it was like nine times I fixed him, but right. he's not 50, <laughs> so the docs couldn't have fixed him. Uh, <laughs> 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 to break something that's you know what mm -hmm. guys listen mm -hmm. come on no 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 be re no let's be real for a minute let's be real for a minute you see where it went with it first six nine fifty <laughs> let me play it back because because you you're not you're not even catching you're too short to catch that man no man it's, but a, I it's, a, it's a shot by already said. You're too short to catch up, man. It, it, it went over his head. <laughs> For my boy, play with my money, send you if he go clap him up. 
money team, money dream. We no play money, so we never in the money scheme. Rich, rich. On the money trail, trade on the money plus me clocks, them ever clean. Never shot. Money team, money dream. We no play money, so we never in the money scheme. Rich, rich. On the money trail, trade on the money plus me clocks, them ever clean. Ever with me, my take by my side. If you feel bad, pussy, you fit chat up now. One link with my friend, and me pass on you. Tell you, love, you get clap up to. We no run joke, we no take trip. Peace, I bust him in, terror, get the text set. 69 x so me fix him, you know 50, so the docs couldn't fix him. Money team, money dream, we no play money, so we never in the money scheme. Up. Six boss. Mm-hmm. If I had a million dollar right now, I'd just give it to you. <laughs> Real talk. Well, Dave, all right, you listen. have to say something. Listen. You have to say something listen. excited. Listen, listen, listen. Say listen. something. Represent listen. yourself. Listen. Listen. Represent the shard boss. All right. Represent listen. the shard listen. boss. Yeah, we got enough for shard boss. Dog. <laughs> well, that's why the shard man hold him. Listen, <laughs> let me tell you something. You talk about, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh-huh. This is my segment right now. Uh-huh. You know when I get like this, uh-huh. what it is. <laughs> You talking about bars and lyrics? You talking about good music? You talking about what? So listen. Mm. You talking about what? So listen. Let me tell you something. Oh, listen. I tell you when I'm talking, <laughs> do not say nothing. Sit. When I get like this, <laughs> you know what that means. Shot boss. Oh. Let me tell you something. And I'm not even doing this because of of trying to make any excitement or anything like that. Honestly. With love and respect. The people need to show you guys some respect right now. And start loving you guys and showing you guys that love, bro. Because, like, Wild Child, Shard Boss, and the old crew. You understand? It's like, bro, come on. Like, these guys actually sit down. And you can tell that they put in work into their music. You can tell that that they're actually working. You can tell they're not just... Going out there and building a hype and a vibe, and just, you can tell it's more than that. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And if you can listen to this song, and then you can get a little bit of a badness, and then a little bit of lyrics, and a little bit of of, 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 of some love, and come on, man. Money, money, money. What's going on? So here's here's the, here's the thing. Woo! Here's the thing for me, right? Mm. This song is good and great, but you know my philosophy. I am one who, when it comes to bad man tune, you see what you say, do hold up a girl tune, and there's a mega vibe, whole day, whole night. Yo, you, you know see, what, listen, for, for, it, the, for the next, see, for the next, for the next, for the next two tune. minutes, for the next two the minutes, for tune. the next two minutes, you sit there and don't say nothing. It's, it's, it's you bad, sit there and not say nothing. You see, you see if a bad man tune, EJ, I, listen, let me tell you something. If you understand, right, and, and I'm going to say something right here, I'm going to make a point, and that was true for here in america and it was also and it is it is actually also true for jamaica right now right so that's why i have a a a, a, a thing as an artist i don't let me tell you artist is the most sensitive people in the world i was sensitive about what you do you do your, your your craft and you put work into it and stuff so my philosophy is always like if if i hear an artist do something and it don't line up with what i my view if it's good, I'm going to say it's good. But I'm not going to say X, Y, Z. You know what I'm saying? No, but... Uh, so uh, let me finish uh, Let me finish my point, bro. You you stop talking now. Let me finish talking. All right. Let, here's what. Here's the point. Back in the 90s, we had what them so-called called gangster rap, right? Where every song that came out was about putting a slug in somebody's head. Story time. What, what that did for hip-hop was a whole heap of artists get killed. A whole heap of man get caught up because people live that because they're living it through the music. Mm-hmm. So they look a guy up on the street, hear the music, and they try to live what the music is saying, not understanding that these are artists that just basically are creating something. It's not the life that they live, and it's not what they're they're asking you to live, right? It's just you have to know where to do it. The same thing I see now in Jamaica, where every song we come out is about gun and man a kill and man a kill, and man a kill. And what happens in the streets? There are so much murder. There is so much killing going on because people feed off that energy. 
and the young kids can't differentiate to say these are artists that's doing it and some of the artists them indulging and the same thing what i'm saying so these are artists that's doing it they can't differentiate that and it causes a problem so for me i kind of exempt myself from making no matter how solid the song may be but i exempt myself from making or indulging in that kind of music because i would be a hypocrite mm. to say yo the artist them were down there do that time i say yo brother i don't have to do a couple more songs about the girl them and party and fun mm. you want they say you want to keep the thing versus me, me i say that and then me i spit out some some stuff so the song is great and it, it it's good but it's just my view on that, so that's why I don't get as excited as it's, Jay who wanna bust nine and not, sixteen and shit. It's not um it's not. Mm-hmm. Like like I said before, mm-hmm. my songs they're not really like bad man show. You know? Right. Here right, I'm right. kicking in nobody face or right. yeah, I might use certain, you know, slangs, you know, mm-hmm. but you don't hear me kicking in nobody face or running and, and shoot down nobody and, and what's not and what's right, not. Right. But I just say that. Like if I'm to do a song close to a Batman song, you can't do it's it. Not, it's not a Batman song. It's just that the song, some of the lyrics they are aggressive. Right, you right. Understand? I might say certain things, but right. it doesn't show that you know. Oh, this man driving tint up car or shoot up people and what's not. Really. And it show your versatility. Yeah. That's the one thing that I can say about it. It show your versatility. It show that you have range, which is good. You know. Sure, boss. Thanks for explaining that. Oh. Appreciate that. Because some people don't have to like it, you understand? But I love it. <laughs> All right, so, but- <laughs> here we go. I'm going to play this another song right here, right now. Yo, Jersey. DJ. Street Dogs. Yo, watch that. Link up some girl. Yo, send over. Make me link some friends. It's like a shell. Bad move with this. Yo, father, dear. God move, God style, bad bitch. Beer top, girl in me bed, dog. She freaky, bad girl, she bougie Clean up, girl, a ox, walk on Me say me, I make a movie Pull up on a bad bitch Truly, though she freaky Girl, I tell me, say she moody Well, dick, but she got a fat booty Truly, yo, me, I make a Bad bitch, Angela Truly Though she freaky, girl, I tell me, say she moody Well, dick, but she got a fat booty Girl, moody, yo, yo, yo Love the way the girl, she Pump a big in a me, yeah She the king, the bird, quick all right so so now so now <laughs> now you're talking about bars yeah. you, know, you, see, you see the thing is you see the thing is let me tell you, let me tell you the difference between me mm-hmm. and that guy that's sitting next to you mm-hmm. I actually sit down mm-hmm. and i i heard these music before mm-hmm. you understand mm-hmm. so Listen, you cannot ask somebody about another artist mm-hmm. that don't even listen to the artist's music. Brother, so I already listen. know the versatility, so I know where I'm speaking from. I know where I'm mm-hmm. where where what what I can say and what I, I shouldn't say. So don't tell me now because you hear the not that's how listen, respect man. That's how you kill the haters <laughs> then, man. Yo, yo sir, my hands always wet. Because I keep playing with it. Right yo, here. don't shake your hand again. Listen, Chad Boss. Yeah, always. <laughs> Chad Boss, listen. I have my lotion right here for a reason. Always lotion. You know him have it here for a reason. What the reason you use it? Oh, really? But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Chad Boss, look here. Yeah, man. You see? I saw man on the field. Yeah. What <laughs> so, Chad Boss, let me run. Yeah, go Wait, ahead. Play the second verse of that song. Yeah, the second verse, song. right. No, no, you're the, this, the second verse for the night. Bring the belly, come, make me beat. I, I love that line there. It's a little forward more. Yeah. Girls link up, soon turn king, so them know me think tough. Got up on my skin, so them know me ink up. Shan movie, yell a queen top, me say we are make a movie. Pull up on a bad badge. Jolly, though she freaky, yell a to me say she money. Well, tick, but she have a fat. We are make a movie. Bad bad Angela Jolie, though she freaky, girl, I tell me say she moody. Well thick, but she got a fat body, girl. Sick. 
<laughs> Try boss. Nice song. Mm. Nice song. Why inspire that song? Yeah. I guess it's the rhythm. I guess it's the rhythm, the vibes, the rhythm had, you know? Because mm-hmm. like I said, for me, it's smooth. I don't really like, like, um, like, think about anybody specific or, or what's not. Like, if I'm doing, it depends too on the song because like, we did we did a, a R.I.P. song for for two of our friends. All like that, I can say like I actually did that for somebody or or, or based on something that happened with a concept in mind. Yeah, yeah okay. but most of my song it's just like the mood, like the vibes that I'm feeling. You know, that's how I can like like that's how I do certain things. Like like I was saying with the old bad man part. Like mm-hmm. okay, I'm not gonna be a bad man. I'm just gonna be aggressive. You know. Right. right. So. Yeah, most of the songs are, are, are based on moods and trust mm-hmm. me like some of the songs I would find writing whilst I'm washing dishes right right right, right. You, you just get a vibe yeah. how many songs you have right now recorded and uh, and and songs that you're what you have on the street right now uh, on the street not not much I'm, I'm trying to to set them up right to get them out there but I got like 20 songs right now okay that's good right now. I'm so, trying to, to so to you can do an album right now yeah yeah um, I really, to be honest, I'm not really trying to put an album out, out there. I'm just trying so that when I actually get out there, I want to be consistent, you know. Mm-hmm. So I at least want to have at least a few songs so mm-hmm. that when I drop, I got, okay, they're not going to be like, oh. That was hot and that was it, yeah. You know, I put out no song till next two months or three months. You, know? you go back, back to back, yeah, to back to back. Mm-hmm. able to like drop a song, if not every week every two weeks or a week and a half you know the shorter the time is better so that just that i can stay consistent stay in people's know? eyes yeah yeah so i got this another song here um which is gonna be the last song that i play um and here we go Hello. See, this is what Shant Man do to them tall and skinny. <laughs> so this is this is the biggest tune EJ got right now. Better tell it. Oh. What? Oh. Oh. What? What? <laughs> You see something more him don't know about? None of them tall guys. You see something in that song there. He's singing out. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> you see something in that song, right? Where none of them so-called tall man don't know nothing about. Is that peanut and spinach? Right. They don't know nothing about that, brother. <laughs> nothing about that. Just educate them for me. All right. Yo, 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 yo. Listen, man. Yo, EJ, respect. Um, mm. I'm really i really do appreciate that you guys coming through and yeah man grateful um, to be here bro. you know what i mean and just you know able to give us the opportunity to actually you you guys are giving us an opportunity we both are. <laughs> <laughs> well i i just want to say thanks man because yeah, man. you know what i mean um I'm, I'm happy to sit here and conversate with another brother yeah. um and i know that live wire really appreciate um this you know re- really appreciate this That's and great. hopefully you know in the future um, we can continue and the next time you know we sit down for another interview so this is where it all started you know exactly <laughs> so we really do appreciate it and you know I mean this is Let's Talk and uh, before I let Dave go ahead um, just want to let everybody know that uh, check out the YouTube channel at Livewire Radio um, or Livewire L-I-V-E-W-Y-A our Instagram page Livewire underscore underscore or Facebook Livewire Radio um, you know what I mean? We're dropping content right now, so just go out and support the thing. Um, you know, we a radio station, and now we're trying to take it to the internet. So because of COVID, so definitely, guys, um, we're gonna be dropping a lot of content and dropping a lot of interviews and so on. 
Yeah, and man. just continue to support Let's Talk and Live Wire Radio. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, and Definitely. keep keep up the work. Keep keep putting in work and just always think about the substance of your music and how long it's gonna live out there. Yeah, so when you put the substance and what I'm hearing, you're putting you're putting substance in the music. Yeah. And that's what's gonna keep you alive. That's what's gonna feed you for 20, 30 years from now when you stop recording. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Alright. So respect. Sharp boss. Sharp boss, EJ. Is there anybody you, you want to give a shout out to before? Yeah, definitely. Big up yourself, Ward Child, any day. Terror, Tuggy Lord, Vibes, Father Day, and Respect. Yo, Drizzy, always. Big up, AJ, Fraser Records. You don't know how you do it. Grimey Family Production, EJ. If anybody want to get in touch with you and want to book you for a show, how do they get in touch with you? Well, you have a number? One minute. Big up yourself, DJ Cash. Yeah, um, for bookings, most of the stuff are going to be run through my manager, you know. But um, you could always link me on my Facebook page EJ, at EJ Music, uh, Instagram at EJ Music, um, oh God, Twitter at EJ Music. All social, all social media. All social media. EJ, EJ, EJ Music. music. Yeah. Yeah. Any, any numbers that people can particularly reach out and say, hey, you know, they want a special, they want dub plate. Yeah. Um, where where they can, can reach out uh, to you? Five one six four seven six eight five nine nine. Definitely, and uh, definitely, I, I'm, I'm gonna start reaching out for some dubs. Yeah. Um, just to um, you know, just to show some love. Also, I really love the vibes and everything. Love what you're doing. Uh, so live wide, definitely gonna reach out. Um, you know, soon. Big up Dive Wire Radio, man. Yes, definitely. Live Wire. Radio. Live Wire, yes. Live Wire the fire. You see me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, so thank you guys for coming through. Big respect. And we look forward to the next um, uh, interview. And we will we'll continue to push your music and uh, help you to grow respect. as we grow. I'll be grateful. Definitely. Big up and respect. Uh, my respect. Live Wire. <laughs> ah. Put on a lotion, Jay. <laughs> This is where you're supposed to be. Live wire, plug in, log in, play.